thanks for joining me again. I'm just going to start off as usual with the large height brush. That's the uh, the 45 mil one. If you're trying to find them, I buy mine on on eBay. And this is what should we do? Let's try something a little bit different. I don't know. These are in crimson, raw sienna, a bit of bit of blue, bit of raw sienna. And I'm just working my way down the bottom of the page. A bit of raw sienna. So, just trying to get as much variation as I can basically, all the way down to the bottom. And then let's pop a few clouds in, so I'm going lizard and crimson, a bit of, bit of paint's grey. And then I'm just going to go something, a few up there and a few down there. And some big ones up there. A bit of colour down the bottom, and a bit of tissue. Take a few little white clouds here, the most the uh, darker ones, and then a few more on this side. I'm trying not to get too too mad with it. More like that. Get a bit of blue down there. Right. Give that a very really quick dry. And then just pull it tight again because the paper's coming about away from the board so it's just stretched a little bit. So with that refixed, I'm just noticing the little pools of water bottom of the paper so just soaking them up with the brush. And it's putting the distant hills so I'm just going to get raw sienna, a bit of burnt umber and there's some hills right up there. Up there something like that. What I'm going to do is just clean the brush. Just clean the brush so it's just slightly damp and clean. And then just take away some of that. So it's, it's like a sort of misty sort of look. Just clean it on the tea towel. Sort of misty goings on up there. And what I'm going to do is really keep it a tree line across there so ultramarine, lemon in yellow, a bit of Payne's grey, real sort of dark green mix, quite strong. And then I'm just gonna sort of just flick it like that. So it just looks like a load of trees. Just being careful to stay within the white white of the paper where I've just took the paint off. Don't want to go over that. So you can see the profile of the top of the trees. And then don't do them all in a straight line, sort of bury the height as well. So at the end I'm going to come right up. And then underneath that I'm just going to go just raw sienna. Just a little bit more contrast than that. Yeah, I'm going to do the same thing again, just use a clean damp brush. Just take that out, just push it up to the bottom of the trees. Let's have a bit of green, a bit of green, a bit of raw sienna. 
I'm going to get a brain. Lemon yellow. Get a light red as well. It's really ready. Put that down something like, like that. Back into that dark greeny mix. So I got ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey. So just a few more. Slightly closer to these trees now. You can just use your fingernail if you like, just to suggest just a few trunks here and there. For that. Now moving on to this left hand side, a bit of brown. Now I want to try and contrast, well I want to go pretty dark now, a little real strong tone, so I'm just going brown, because I want to go dark, I'm not bothered cleaning the brush. Brown, blue, and then it's sort of coming something like, I'll just dip the tips then in the water just so that the paint comes off a bit stronger. Bit easier, rather. Just sort of fill that bit in. Fill that in there. It's coming down there. Something like that. Just get the brush a bit dry. It's been too wet now. So I just want to make sure that that's flat. Because it's horrible when you're trying to paint and the, the paper's coming away. And you're sort of pressing it. So a bit of. Lemon yellow, just push that up into that darker mix just to blend the two together nicely. A bit of rose yellow, and that's coming down like that. And then head down. It's like a sort of, you can see now, sort of, there's the profile, so the land sort of, sort of going around the back like that. Good. Bit of brown. Bit of blue, and green. You see, I'm just constantly trying to vary it as I come down. And then, right at the very bottom, there's some water. So, a bit more water just to make it a nice chisel edge now. And I'll just sort of try and define that water's edge down there. You see the sort of dark, the dark paint works well against that lighter area. Just imagine where the light from the sky is just reflected into the water. This is like the, the muddy banks. Muddy banks again. Go back over to the right hand side, just cleaning the brush, drawing it on this tea towel. It's going to it's like a tree on the right in the distance. So, lemon yellow, a bit of Payne's grey, a bit of ultramarine. Something, I don't want to paint too much over what I've already done. Somewhere there, like that. And I'll do. Cleaning the brush because I want to go back to a lighter colour now. In fact, let's pop a few twigs and stuff. I've switched to the th number three rigger. Sticking up there. That'll do. Don't want to get too mad. So I'm just drying the brush again on the tea towel.
Right, let's go back into this lemon yellow. And again, kind of see yourself pushing the light colour against the darker. Always looking for that bit of contrast. Now, as soon as I go into that, that blue, you see how it changes again into the paint's grey, changes again, see how dark it gets. That paint grey is just. Okay, down, back to the card. There's just like a rock down there. think I think I'm pretty much there I think switch back to the rigger just pop a few uh, few little birds in the sky make sure my hands are clean and then just pop them in the sort of light area so you can actually see them so I'm going to stick them right there that one so Three. And then last but not least, now that's still wet, I'm going to I was going to scrape it out, oh look, there's my card, I couldn't find my card then. So it's still wet and it's dark so I'm just going to use the card to scrape my name in. Just use the corner of the card. I'm going to call that one finished. So let's see what it looks like with the main sun. Here we are with the main sun. The sky was put in quite chaotically, almost experimental really. You see, I've tried to define these darker sort of clouds against the lighter background and then use tissue here for the lighter clouds. Normally this distant, the distant hills here I would put in the same colour as these darker clouds just to help push it right back into the distance. I'm not sure why I went with blue there. And if you remember I took out the lighter areas with the brush which once it was dry then I could put in this tree line and it, you could see the tops of the trees a lot easier all the way across and then up the side of the hill. See the difference with these other trees here, you can't see them as clearly because the background is similar, similar tones opposed, more of a contrast there, light and dark, as opposed to a more of a more similar in tones. You see a bit of fingernail work there, scratching out the tree trunks. Tree trunk here I scratched out. And then just a little few little branches and stuff here with the with the rigger brush just to create a bit of variation. Just some flat land here, but you see I've tried to keep it interesting by just constantly varying the colour all the way down the side as it gets towards towards the water at the bottom. These rocks here by the water just scraped out using a piece of card. A few more here on this side and I've just sort of painted in front of them just bits of grass using the corner of the hake brush. And then you can see that I've tried to deliberately done it really dark to try and contrast against the, the light of the water. Well thanks for watching, I hope you like that. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. You can also help me by sharing this video, commenting, liking. Keep practicing, any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon.